Hello, we are looking in Shining Star B, Unit 6, Part 2, the text telescopes, and this is the annotating exercise in your workbook. I talked with many of you about very carefully following the directions on the side. These directions are helping you to do a deeper read, a closer read, we call it close reading, of the text, which is an important common core standard. So, setting you up for reading, use what you know. List three things you might observe that you might see in the nighttime sky. The moon, what else? What else might you see in the nighttime sky? Text structure, science article, right? This is a science article. We've got our headings, we have information, it's about science. A science article gives factual information about a topic in biology, chemistry, or another science. Read the first two sentences of this article. Underline the type of scientist the article mentions. Okay, so you're, giving a, you're given a direction here to underline, okay, the type of scientist the article mentions. What science do you conclude the article gives information about? So first do this and then this. And you write your answer there. Telescopes. Light from the sky gives astronomers most of their information about the planets and stars. Astronomers use telescopes to collect and use this light. So what are you underlining? Astronomers, astronomers. And the question is, what science do you conclude the article gives information about? Astronomers study what type of science? Astronomy. So that's what you will write here. Astronomy. Reading strategy skimming. What does skimming look like? Skimming. When you skim a text, you read it quickly to learn the main ideas. You then give a more careful reading. So the first time is quickly. The second time is more careful. Skim this page before reading it in detail. What two kinds of telescopes does it tell about? So let's skim and quickly find it. Okay, and those answers go there. Comprehension check. Now, after we've done a skim, read the page in more detail. What does each type of telescope use to collect and focus the light? And you'll write your answer there. Reading strategy, skimming a text. Skim this page before reading it in more detail. What does the information on this page show readers how to do? So again, we're skimming. What does it show readers how to do? Okay, what are the two main sections about? 
What is this section? That's right, it's materials. And what is this section? Steps. Text structure. Science articles often give step-by-step -step instructions on how to perform scientific experiments or gather scientific information. Circle the numbered steps for making a refracting telescope. How many steps are there? So what are you being asked to do? Circle the numbered steps. What does that mean? It means circle the numbered steps. How many steps? Ta-da! Okay. Comprehension check. Circle the materials needed to make the telescope. Which of the listed materials do you think will be the hardest to get? Where might you get it? So circle the materials. Sorry. So what, what seemed to be the hardest to get and where might you get it? I think this might be the hardest to get. And I'd go to Amazon <laughs> or some sort of science -y supply store. How about you? Okay, so please remember that when you have this sort of assignment, this is excellent practice for you in close reading and annotating the text. It's great if you practice this in ESL class because you're going to be asked to do this at a more difficult, more challenging level in many other English classes in your future. And you may also be asked to do this in history or science classes. Close reading. Skim this page before reading it in more detail. What does the page tell readers how to do? Okay, so what does it tell you to do? Comprehension check. Underline the words in the second paragraph, one, two, that tell what to do first before going outside and looking at the sky. What does it say? Before you go outside, Prepare carefully for your observations. First, first, decide which planets or stars you want to observe. And be prepared with these items. So underline the words that tell you what to do first. Okay. Which, we're not done yet, right? Which of the items listed after the second paragraph could help someone do this? What would help you decide what planet or star you want to look at? 
Okay, write that here. Science articles often include charts and diagrams to illustrate the points they make. Circle the chart near the end of this article. So you're being asked to circle. Where's the chart? Okay. The rest of the question is, what does it show? Okay. Retell. Give this article a more personal touch by telling about a student who reads it and then makes and uses the telescope to look at the nighttime sky. Use information from the article in your retelling. Let's call this student, this imaginary student, let's call him Bob. So Bob decided Bob decided to make a telescope. First, then, next, finally, and then what did he look for? Okay, retell it. But now it's more personal because now we've, we're talking about Bob. Reader's response. What did you find most interesting in this article? Is there something where you said, oh, that's interesting. So how would you begin that? You could say, one thing I found most interesting. Or you could say, in my, that's terribly messy, in, in my opinion, I realize I'm writing with my finger, in my opinion, the most interesting Part of this article is, and then complete your sentence. Are you done? Nope. There's a second part. So then what are you going to say? One reason is because da da da. And if you have another reason, lovely, another reason is because da da da. about the skill. How did skimming help you better understand the article? How would you write that? Skimming helped me better understand the article in several ways. One way it helped me was, another way it helped me was. We're looking in Shining Star B, Unit 6, Part 2, Grammar Exercises in the Workbook that go along with textbook page 258. Using prepositional phrases. A prepositional phrase is made up of a preposition. And remember the root word of preposition is position. Where. Position. Preposition. A prepositional phrase is made up of a preposition plus a noun or pronoun. Prepositional phrases can show location, where, time, when, or description. 
Location examples. Under the table. At school. Behind the house. On the wall. Time. At noon. Around midnight. After school. During vacation. By 10 o'clock. They also can sh give a description about the solar system of the history of life with a tiny lens. So underline the prepositional phrase in each sentence. Let's look up here. Oops, what happened? Let's look up here first. Under is a preposition. At is a preposition. Behind is a preposition. And a phrase is two or more words that go together. So that's the preposition. And this, this is the prepositional phrase. So preposition, prepositional phrase, preposition, prepositional phrase, preposition, prepositional phrase. Now that we've talked about that, let's look at our exercises. We are putting a P over the preposition and an N over the noun, a person, place, thing, or idea in the prepositional phrase. Okay, so Gary and Nico placed their telescope on a hill. Now I hope you're telling me that that is my preposition, where, and what's the noun in my prepositional phrase? Hill. And this is my prepositional phrase, on a hill. Number two. They always found constellations in the evening. Where's my preposition? In. And in what? In when? The evening. There's my noun. And this is my prepositional phrase, in the evening. All right, you're going to continue along in that same way. Looking at number six, complete each sentence with a prepositional phrase. Use the preposition in parentheses. I like to watch the stars at... at my grandmother's house in the country, or at night, okay? I know a lot about, I know a lot about, what do you know a lot about? I know a lot about cats, whatever. <laughs> I bring my telescope to the top of, well, I guess you should know a lot about stars then, so these all connect. I bring my telescope to the top of the mountain. I wait until the moon is above what? So you can complete these two. And that is the grammar, prepositional phrases. And please do refer back to page 258. Okay, an additional grammar focus. Using adverbs for precision. Okay, precision, precise, to be specific and clear. Adverbs are words that describe a noun, sorry, a verb, adverb. Adverbs are words that describe a verb an adjective, or another adverb. They tell us when, where, how, and how much. They tell us when, where, how, and how much. Adverbs are often used in science to show precision, to be precise, specific, clear. Adverbs such as slowly, carefully, neatly, clearly 
are used in instructions to tell us exactly what to do. Notice that many of the precision adverbs end with the letters L-Y. Here's the example. Move the tubes slowly to focus the telescope. Carefully cut the circle out of the foam roller. Stir the mixture well. Now here, well is an adverb, but it doesn't have an L-Y because we don't say well -y. We just say well. Okay. Read the following instructions for making a refracting telescope. Circle the adverbs that show precision. Follow the example. Here's the example. Measure exactly the right amount of glass. So what are you doing? You're circling the adverb that shows precision. I'll do number one with you. Put the smaller tube precisely inside the larger tube. What do you see? That's right, precisely. Okay, please continue. Hello, so we are at Shining Star B. We're in the workbook pages that go along with the textbook, page 259, writing a skit, a skit or a short play. Okay. We have 10 questions and we're finding the correct answer based on what we have already read on textbook page 259. Read the following statements about the format, the structure, how plays are organized. Read the following statements about the format of plays. Knowing about plays will help you when you write a short play or skit, which will be your final project for Shining Star B. Write the letter for the current answer. <laughs> Write the letter for the correct answer in the space provided before the number. So what did, what are you being asked to do? Do you see the space before the number? You're going to write either an A or a B in the space before the number. A narrator of a play always provides the sound effects or usually introduces, comments on, and concludes the story. Which one is your best choice? If you think B is your best choice, you're correct. And you would write B there. So please continue through 10, going back and using page 259 in your book to help you. And now we're looking at the next page, 167 in your workbook assignment. This goes along with the textbook, page 260. Directions. Read the skit carefully. Adverb for precision. Find the mistakes. Then, so one, read. Two, find the mistakes. Three, rewrite it. So let's read through it. First woman hangs the stars. Characters, narrator, first woman, first man, coyote. Scene one. Setting, desert in American Southwest. Oh, an American region. We've learned about that. Narrator, long ago, first woman and first man gazed in the sky. Now notice that first man is written with two capitals because it's the character's name. But first woman was not, so it needs to be corrected to um, to make an editing mark to show capitalization. If you don't know how to do it, I'll show you how to do it correctly. Do, do, do. Three lines. 
That means capitalize this, please. Brother Moon, okay, it was huge and black. Brother Moon rested in the center, but there was nothing else up there. First woman, the night sky is so beautiful. First man, agrees. Yes, Brother Moon. So how do we make it capital? The editing mark looks like that. A little bit better than that. <laughs> Brother Moon does a fine job of lighting it. Coyote enters. Coyote, slyly. Greetings, first woman and first man. Period. That's supposed to be a period. <laughs> what are you looking at? What goes there? What are you looking at? Question. We're looking at the night sky. Doesn't Brother Moon do a fine job of bringing light to us at night? Okay, doesn't. So that's a question. Coyote shakes his head. No, 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 first woman. He doesn't do a good job at all. It could be a period here. A little smaller. But it sounds the way it's written as though it were an exclamation. We could use some stars at the sky or in the sky. Mm -hmm. And I think again that might be an exclamation. Narrator. First man and first woman were puzzled. They did not know what stars were. They had never seen... Oh, that's a run-on sentence. They did not know what stars were, period, capital letter. They had never seen them before. 